ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, we are on the last strike. Everything has been sanded 100%. A lot of dust right now, but going to clean up here shortly. But all the strikes, the sides, everything looks pretty good. And again, don't mind the dust. We are going to back in here in a little while. Cassie's buttoning up the last motor well over there. And I've rounded all the corners on the strikes. Uh, this is the last strike to clean up. Uh, so I just figured I'd give a, a quick brief on how I kind of do this. Um, the first thing I do is I take a sanding block and uh, I hit sides and then I hit the top and make a square edge. The first thing I'm going to do is just kind of clean this all up. And uh, I filled all this and you can see where I filled. So I'm just knocking down that edge quick. And I've been using the uh, machine for all this. But... Again, this is the last section, so just make sure there's no ridges. Alright, so that's the side. And the top of this area. It's a nice square edge here. And I take the long, this is our first set's 30 inch uh, sanding block, dura block. Uh, and what, what I find works well for me is uh, kind of hold this at a 45 degree angle and I'll run all the way down the straight and just kind of make a flat end to it. All the way down. And I'll walk in as I go. And I'm kind of going for uh, 3 16 of an inch thick there. Or uh, maybe 2 or 3 millimeters for all the uh, overseas folks. And using the long board will give this curve a nice fair curve here. All right. So once that's done, I go back to the shorter dura block here. As I push up, I'm rolling the block over like so. Right. And I'm trying not to really take off any material. I'm just trying to roll that corner. So I find if I go up halfway on the corner. As I do it, and again, I've done quite a few of these so far now, so I'm trying to, I'm trying to go pretty fast on these. So that pretty much rolls the corner, and then for the final touch, just in case there is a little ridge from that sanding block, it's just very lightly I'm hitting over 80 grit paper in my fingers. And it's just ever so lightly there, just enough to make sure there's no ridges on that. Yeah, I'm going to get my mask on and uh, give it hell and then uh, celebration beers. We've been at it for about, uh, I don't know, I want to say three months, fairing and sanding and fairing and sanding. I'm sure you guys have seen the videos and, you know, if it's getting old for you, you can only imagine what it's doing to us. So if everything looks well, we will put on the three coats of primer. Uh, paint the tunnel and then uh, start getting ready to flip it so thanks for watching guys be sure to like share and subscribe hopefully uh, that little demo kind of gives you a better idea on how we roll our corners and stuff we're done that's it it's over I'm done <laughs> just doing a quick walk around doesn't look like much on the camera <laughs> honestly you can't tell with this but yeah, you can't tell with the camera no it's tough it, it is looks good guys smooth as a baby's bottom so we just gotta clean all the lovely dust up So just a little side note on uh, rounding the corners. Um, we went with the hand method. We were gonna, we thought about using a router with a round over bit. And uh, we were basically just afraid of cutting into the glass uh, on the corners here. I mean, there is uh, four layers of glass here on these corners, but uh, I, I didn't want a chance cutting into it um, with the router. So we did do everything by hand and that's the reason why. Alright guys, good morning, 
here from England. It is about 6.30 in the morning and we're getting ready to paint today. Uh, it's supposed to be a beautiful day for paint, right around 70 degrees. Uh, relative humidity is about 40%, I think it's said on the weather. So it's uh, a perfect day to, to get on the uh, first coat of primer. Um, first thing I'm gonna do this morning is I'm gonna kind of draw a line about six inches up all the way around the boat. Um, this is just so when we go to glass, the cabin roofs, the gunnels and all that, uh, everything wraps around the corner of the hull. So when I go to do that, I wanna make sure I don't have to uh, sand back paint, primer and all that stuff. So I've tried to stay up at least four to six inches all the way around. Um, I really only need three, just give myself a little bit of, of a buffer with the six. Um, so if you see, that's why we're not painting the bottom six inches. That'll be the reason why. All right, so yeah, everything else is uh, pretty much good to go here. Uh, we gotta give the boat one good wash down, maybe two. We're not planning on doing anything lower than the swim platform here. That's why this is not sanded. Uh, I'm gonna cut it across here and I'll, I'll fare all this lower end in later because I still have to seal this plywood on the motor wells here. So once I seal the plywood, I'll probably wrap it with some fiberglass here and uh, I'll be able to fare all the rest of that once the boat's flipped over. I'm gonna get at it. Cassie uh, is probably still in bed, but she'll be out here shortly and uh, we'll hit it hard. And hopefully this quarter primer looks good. If so, we will continue on. We have up to 60 days with the total protect uh, to recoat and still get a good bond. So obviously you have to wash it down if there's any dust, but 60 days to recoat. And uh, it calls for three coats total, what we're gonna do. And then after that, we have to send the tunnel back to 320 grit. Uh, so when I say the tunnel, I mean basically from the water line on this panel here, down and up the other side to the same point. Uh, everything that's above the water line that is primed will get a coat of, uh, we're gonna use epiphanes uh white paint and i believe it calls for one coat it may be two i have to read a little bit more into that one still but so yeah that's the, the uh plan one more round of sanding with 320 after the primer goes down and we should be pretty much good to go hey we're finally off of sanding videos so can't complain right So Cassie is taping this side. The other side is now done. I'm a pro. She is. She's doing a fine job. So what are your feelings today, hon? I'm excited. Excited? Yeah. For? Priming. Priming. New step. New step. One step closer to flipping. Yeah. And then leads to more steps inside the boat. Yeah, this is going to be a huge uh, morale boost, oh, I think, yeah. today. It's time. Time for what? <laughs> prime time. It's prime time. All right. Uh check out our code for total boat the code is in our description because it changes and it's valid only through september 1st 2021 i'm sure we'll get a new one after that check the description though we are ready to prime mm -hmm. we just wash the boat down three times with acetone we have all of our stuff ready to go uh, we are using total protect for everything that we're going to paint right now um, Total Protect is designed to actually seal the fiberglass. Uh, so anything underwater needs a barrier coat, they call it. And that's what this is. So uh, Seal the fiberglass or the it, fairing from, compound? From what I understand, it actually seals 
the fiberglass. Because huh. the fiberglass is actually porous. Yeah, I know. Even after it's full of resin saturated and all that, it's still somewhat porous. And over time, water will migrate through the fiberglass into the core. And that's what you want to avoid. So uh, we're going to do three coats of the Total Protect. Uh, today, we're only doing one. If we miss the recoat time, uh, we just have to resand it down to 80 grit quick and uh, just clean everything up again and, and recoat after that. But we shouldn't miss that. We're going to mix this. It's a three to one mix. Um, the way they sell this, if you want to look in the can here, so the way they sell it is they actually leave you enough room so one kit makes a gallon. So if I was to take this pint here and dump it in, it would make one full gallon. Now, I don't know if we're going to use a full gallon on this. I don't think we are. Uh, so we're just going to mix a quart at a time. Um, hopefully a quart makes it down the tunnel. And then I'm thinking two quarts probably to do most of this. Um, we're going to kind of take turns, Cassie and I. I'm going to jump up on the tunnel. I'll roll the tunnel. And Cassie's going to take the outsides of the boat and roll that. Uh, once we mix this three to one, there's an induction time of 15 minutes. So we're going to, you know, take a nice 15 minute break before we get going. Um, at 70 degrees, it has a five hour pot life before it actually cures. So it's plenty of time to work it for our little vessel we have here. Uh, you know, little. Relatively little, 26 footer. Uh, there's plenty of surface area, but five hours should be way more than enough time to do what we gotta do. Okay. So. Good. Um, anything else? It's like 85 in here. All right. So we're gonna have three hours probably. The cup. This stuff is actually really thick. Should we thin it? No, I don't know. I think you actually thin after the induction period. If you wanna. That's about 12. We need to go 18. You want to go to 18? Three to one. Okay. Just gotta let it sit for a second. I might put my mask on. It definitely has a stronger smell than the epoxy. So just over 24, right? Mm -hmm. So it thinned it out a lot once I put that on there. Put yeah. that in there. Quite a bit. All right, and now we wait.
One coat down. We're not gonna have enough to do the entire hull, I don't think, with one gallon. Nope. <laughs> Unfortunately. Yeah, that was a uh, miscalculation. Thanks, Tom. No, I was kidding. <laughs> yeah, thanks, Tom. <laughs> And originally we weren't going to do this, the sides with the uh, total protect. We're actually using regular primer. Uh, we decided to use yeah, total right, protect yeah. just because I don't want to be switching to eight different paints trying to do this. And I know the tunnel will be in contact with the water quite a bit um, as we're you know, underway and stuff. So I was like, you know what, for the extra couple bucks, I'll use the other primer on the interior when it comes time. How you doing? We're good. Here you you go. think we're gonna have enough? No, we're we'll damn close. Okay. You still got some in the tray, right? Eh, not much. Oh, there's no way we're gonna finish then. Huh? There's no way you're gonna finish the boat then. A little bit. Are we gonna do it? Oh. Uh, got this for a second. <laughs> Down to the last drop on this one. I'm Literally, sorry. the drops. Oh. Um, just keep it, keep it from falling. We're gonna need every day. We got this. God, I hope so. We freaking do. It's fine. <laughs> oh. I, I like. I'm so impressed with you. <laughs> you just did the whole tunnel in like less than 15 minutes. I told you, I'm slow. All oh, the guys at work, I work hard at home. <laughs> this is how much we have left, everybody. That's it. That's it. Literally, <laughs> that's it. Like we, we, scraped we scraped the can, the can for that. Jesus, hold that. Wow, one gallon. Uh, the bottom's starting to get a little chunky. It's all right. I can sand that a little bit. Oh yeah, plenty to finish. Look at this. And that is it. it. A little more. All right, it's time for a drink. What kind? <laughs> oh. Wow. After that. Oh. Wow. That's right, we'll have a few uh, adult beverages this afternoon. Oh, for sure. Look at it. I think we just hit the lottery. We should play the Powerball. It's great. And that's gonna do it. Thanks for watching. I'm pull the tape because we don't want it to bond to this epoxy uh, right. paint. We will retape this line after and I need a knife. Nope. Ooh, so satisfying. It's so satisfying. This is like the most satisfying part is always pulling the tape. It's like we just painted the whole boat, you know, one color at least, and pulling this the pulling the tape is the best part. It just uh, feels good, it looks good, even though somebody painted the load alone. You know, hey, I, I was never good at coloring when I was a kid, so. <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen. Do a, let's do a walk around. I'll, I'll do a better one uh, after it dries. I'll get up on top of the tunnel, too, later. Yeah, but, uh, this now. looks phenomenal. This looks absolutely amazing. I mean, I can't see any dips. There's a few kind of spots that. I know I filled and you can almost see it, the difference in the color, but I think after we get a couple more coats of primer on it, that is going to be fine. Mm -hmm. I did get the top of that. I'm sure we have a couple of bugs in here, there you know. a couple of little blemishes. Yeah, and again, see, but I think I, I'm not even over, I'm not even worried about those little, little spots like that. I mean, this looks pretty good. You know, after, so after we put two more coats of this primer on, we have to sand this back to 320 grit for the paint. Right. So if it's thicker, it's not going to really hurt anything. Um, and obviously, we didn't really concentrate on the bottom here. I don't know how well this shows up on, on camera. But this bottom, is, it's all rough in here. I really didn't fear this area because I know we're going to have to refair it later. Uh, it was more just to see how much the primer would fill. Um, yeah, cause some people water. say, some people say this primer fills up to a 16th of an inch gap and you know, it was like, you know what, we'll, we'll test it out and see. But, uh, 
looks so good. I think I think she looks really good. Uh, again, we'll get some better shots tonight. Maybe that that B roll will come out a little bit better. But it definitely looks lovely, and I am so happy we made it through. Uh, we definitely need to order more. Yep. Uh, didn't go nearly as far as I thought it would. So, all right, guys. Well, thanks for watching, and uh, be sure to like, share, and subscribe. Ready for round two, even though just one round looks really good. <laughs> Thoughts on it? Anything for people to watch out for? It doesn't go as long as far as we expected. Correct. At all. But it does cover extremely well. It covers really well. Nice thick. Yeah, yeah I'm sure you guys have seen the pictures. Maybe Cassie can insert a picture right in. Yeah. Just to show you what it looked like prior to the first quarter primer. Yeah. I was stretching it pretty pretty far at the end here and it still got good coverage. Um, we were just about out of paint. Um, we should have had about a gallon and a quart. Um, we only had a gallon. So we decided to do the whole haul with the Total Protect as opposed to just the haul bottom. So we should have had enough. It would have been close. We should have had enough though if we just did from the water line below the water. And for three coats? It would have been close for three coats. Yeah. It would have been really close, but I think we would have had it. Um, okay. Yeah, yeah so no. I, in their defense, like, you know, we, we made yeah. jokes, but in their defense, they were probably right on. We changed the uh, the recipe. Though. Yeah. But yeah, it covers incredibly well, actually. Yeah. I'll give a shout out to Jamestown again, uh, Total Bolt, because uh, we ran out of paint uh, Saturday. Saturday. Emailed them Saturday, and they had paint to us today on Tuesday. Now they were closed for the weekend, but. I mean, that's overnight to us, ready to go. So a uh, huge shout out to them. We need to do two more coats. We now have all the primer to do that. Yep. And then come this weekend, come hopefully Friday, we'll be able to sand down this primer to a 320 grit. And we only have to sand the tunnel because we're only painting the tunnel. And then we're going to paint that with the epiphanes when it comes time. That was Cassie, just saying. That yeah. was the first time I went over the tape. Painted outside the lines, just saying. It wasn't me this time. Mm -hmm. I also did the entire sides this time. Yeah, they, they did that. Smile. Smile. Ooh. Woo. <laughs> so we did three coats over here last night so it's dry it's my attempt at filling little holes as you can see it looks pretty good but there are little imperfections like this this is the good. last of it three coats this is the last of grandma it looks wonderful though yeah i think it looks pretty good just trying to get this as smooth as I can. It's That's sanding. Because I don't think you miss sanding, no. to, to be honest. I can't tell you how much I miss sanding. <laughs> I found that dipping your finger in primer and then rubbing it into pinholes works like a charm. Just a little bit left, so we're just going to put it on a little extra heavy there. And it's a lot extra heavy. <laughs> oh my god, yes it is. <laughs> and I'm going to show my pinhole method. So here we go. Literally dipping my finger in primer. Let me find a pinhole. Massage. We have to sand this anyway, right? So this little spot that I'm messing up the wonderful roller application with won't matter. Look. Ta-da! 
when we sand that down, all the pinholes will be gone. And that's a wrap on priming. It looks wonderful. And also, I really wish every boat job was this fast. We primed the boat in three days. Three coats, three days. Huh? Feels good? Got an itch? Wanna go inside? Oh, Bless nice. you. <laughs> You're nasty. That is gross. Oh, I just took his head in it too. He's happy. <laughs> of course he's happy. Ew. You alright? No, we're still going. <laughs> oh, buddy. Go <laughs> oh, you wanna go in? Okay. Nope. It's actually called for four inch wide, uh, four inch wide tape, which I mean you only need two inches, but I went with the six because. Honey. <laughs> <laughs> I win.